Welcome to Underground LA. Today we're going to take a look at the final resting place of Domino Harvey. Also going to look at uh, Domino Harvey's father, Lawrence Harvey. They are buried together. Domino Harvey was born in 1969 in London, England. She was uh, kicked out of four boarding schools until she finally dropped out of school to pursue a modeling career. She had various jobs over the years. Uh, EMT, uh, volunteer firefighter, uh, bail enforcement agent, and DJ. She took the Ed Martinez um, Bail Enforcement uh, School and uh, graduated from there, and then he uh, hired her to work in South Central Los Angeles. The Daily Mail did an article about Domino Harvey and uh, got the attention of director Tony Scott, who became fast friends with her and was chronicling her life over the years for uh, to make a movie. She was in and out of rehab four times, and uh, she sadly passed away uh, from a fentanyl overdose uh, in her West Hollywood apartment. She, at the time, could not uh, kick her drug habit and uh, was no longer being hired as a bail enforcement agent. She uh, is interned at Santa Barbara Cemetery with her father in Santa Barbara, California. She did not live long enough to see the movie uh, based on her life starring Kira Knightley uh, entitled Domino. Lawrence Harvey is buried with his daughter Domino Harvey and Lawrence Harvey was born in 1928 as, uh, and I gotta look at this because uh, I can't quite say it, La Larushka, Larushka Skikni, maybe? I don't know, you can tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, he grew up in South Africa and uh, he was actually in the South African Army in World War II and then uh, he immigrated to the UK in 1946. He went to the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts, but dropped out after three months. He got his big break in 1959 in Room at the Top. He also uh, starred alongside uh, John Wayne, who so was very popular at that time. He uh, had uh, Domino Harvey with his uh, first wife, Pauline Stone, but then they divorced, and uh, Domino Harvey was actually only four years old at the time when her father passed away at the age of 45. He was a heavy smoker and drinker and passed away with stomach cancer. Of course, they are both interned at Santa Barbara Cemetery in Santa Barbara, California. Like, subscribe, tell me who else you would like me to see, and I appreciate everybody's comments. Although some of them have gotten very negative lately, I still appreciate talking to everybody out there.